The video game industry is an ever-changing landscape of technological innovations and user experience. Dynamic game companies are always on the edge of the next big thing. There are ever-increasing numbers of new players, and getting their attention is more art than science. That's why game design and artwork has become more vibrant and more exciting than ever. With each new game, Prime One Studio is on the scene to represent the most amazing and drop-dead gorgeous video game statues around. These statues are sure to stoke the fires in the hearts of passionate gamers everywhere. Sony is a name that needs no introduction. Bolstered by the fact that the Sony PlayStation is a revolutionary console for the ages. Prime One Studio and Sony have had a long relationship of producing eye-opening statues from stunning games. Up next is an impressive summary of everything they've created together so far. From all those fan favorites to the newest heart-pounding titles, here's what's next from Prime One Studio. Known as one of the greatest and most influential games of all time, Demon's Souls launched a plethora of Souls-like action role-playing games since its inception. Its high difficulty and addictive gameplay places it in well-deserved legendary territory. Prime One Studio is therefore incredibly proud to reveal one of the most amazing bosses of Demon's Souls in the form of the Tower Knight. In this jaw-dropping statue, the Tower Knight stands in the way of an intrepid knight squaring off in his voluntarian courtyard arena. You can just hear the boss music now, can't you? This statue packs a wallop in its sheer mass and heft. Not only does it look heavy, it truly is. The superb craftspeople at Prime One Studio have really outdone themselves with not only the Tower Knight, but everything in this diorama piece. Looking at the Tower Knight from top to bottom, you can really appreciate all the sculpting work that was done through all the impressive scroll work 
and filigree that's worked into the thick, magical armor. The gigantic Tower Knight suit of armor is also contrasted well with the indestructible chainmail he wears underneath. Every plate of armor from his helmet, to his cuirass, to his sabatons, are impressively rendered in shiny metallic paint. It'll make you believe that the whole thing was exquisitely hammered from magical metal. Fighting a 30-foot tall magical knight might seem hard enough even before you take his magical lance and shield into consideration. The only thing to save the little knight will be his quick wits and footwork as the magical lance swings around to deal fatal blow after fatal blow. And if that weren't perilous enough, Try getting through that immensely thick and towering giant shield. He might seem to be on a fool's errand, but the tiny knight at the dangerous giant's feet still looks up to the challenge. Offensively posed, the well-appointed knight is covered head to toe in light plate armor and equipped with his trusty sword and solid looking shield, seemingly ready to rush through the metallic behemoth's legs in an instant. Don't forget your light weapon spell and your anti-magic field to help you bring down this towering terror. If you feel the need to snap up this amazing statue diorama, stay tuned to all Prime One Studio social channels for the latest updates about Prime One Studio's Demon Souls Tower Day. Hunters need to level up as they're on the prowl for nightmares. And one way to do this is featured in this long-awaited game. Are you a hunter, roaming through a decrepitly gothic Victorian era inspired city, looking to level up in your never ending mission to unravel the mysteries of a diseased Yarnan? Well, viewer, you are in luck. Prime One Studio is proud to present a pivotal character in the critically acclaimed action role playing game Bloodborne The Doll. Power up your insight to animate the seemingly ordinary porcelain doll. Created by Grumman the first hunter, the doll is based on a student that he used to hold affection for called Lady Maria. Here to embolden the hunter's sickly spirit, the doll awakens at hunter's dream. 
devoted to serve the hunter loyally and to love him completely. But are her affections real or artificial? Only the doll knows. The skillful artists at Prime One Studio have brought all the drama and the sublime beauty from Bloodborne into this fantastic statue. The doll frail beauty shines through from her glowing face as she sits unmoving on her rugged throne. The ethereal quality of her cloak and vestments sculpted to perfection and painted to stunning reality by Prime One's masterful artisans. The manner in which her scarf falls across her front, the lacy quality of her collar, the realistic weight of her garments will astound you and elevate your Bloodborne collection with unrivaled finery. Carefully painted in muted tones to respectfully emulate the source material, the doll's garments feel cloth-like and effectual. The doll speaks to the hunter from her perch, a throne of earth and stone, accompanied by a lamp to provide a respite to a wary and slain hunter. Whether or not you already own the Bloodborne the Hunter statue, you owe it to yourself as a Bloodborne fan to stay tuned to all Prime One Studio social channels for the latest updates about Prime One Studio's Bloodborne, the doll. Soon to be a streaming show, the next game relies on intense action and dramatic storytelling. Prime One Studio has created a statue that delivers on both. Few games get under your skin and leave you thinking about them long after you've put down the controller. My friends, The Last of Us Part Two is one such game. Critically acclaimed for its gameplay, characterizations, performances, and visual fidelity, The Last of Us Part Two combines a memorable survival horror narrative with pulse-pounding action. The thrilling post-apocalyptic sequel picks up years after the first game and brings a different kind of gameplay, featuring two protagonists in a life and death struggle, not only with the cannibalistic infected and antagonistic human enemies, but ultimately with each other. Ellie comes back from the first chapter out for revenge on a more than capable Abby Anderson. These two characters clash many times during the game, and you can bring that to life with this amazing Ellie and Abby statue set from Prime One Studio. Prime One Studio is absolutely proud to present this stunning statue set to you. Ellie's in stalking mode, revolver ready to do fatal damage to her prey. Meanwhile, Abby is more than ready to bludgeon any coming attacker armed with a hammer and a tough attitude. 
these two statues can be displayed side by side or back to back, depending on how much drama you want to instill into the scene. Prime One Studio's amazing artists have done these statues the ultimate service by studying the game assets to be able to bring out the best interpretation of these steely, determined characters. Posed on their own arched pedestals, each statue is a vignette of tense action and thrilling suspense. Both Ellie and Abby will come with a number of swappable weapons to increase the storytelling. Just looking at the intensity between these two, you will not be disappointed with these The Last of Us Part 2 statues. Stay tuned to all Prime One Studio social channels for all the latest updates about Prime One Studio's The Last of Us Part 2, Ellie and Abby. Capcom is synonymous with gaming. From the ultimate fighting series Street Fighter to the definitive horror survival series Resident Evil. Prime One Studio has had 10 great years of developing statues from Capcom's deep library of games. Here's a look back at all those cool products and following that, what's in store for you on this 10th anniversary? Devil May Cry is a solid action-adventure series that boasts entertaining gameplay and impeccable style. To celebrate Devil May Cry's 20th anniversary last year, Prime One Studio pulled out all the stops to create awesome DMC5 statues for their 10th anniversary. シリーズ累計出荷数2600万本を誇るスタイリッシュアクションゲーム、デビルメイクライ。シリーズで最も壮大かつ爽快感にあふれ、大人気キャラクターのバージルがプレイアブルとして登場した最新作、デビルメイク
文字通りスタイリッシュな立体化に成功してきたのですそしてプライムワンスタジオ10周年を記念したこれらメインキャラクターのカラーバリエーションアイテムも登場ゲームプレイヤーの中にはこれらのカラーリングの方がしっくりくる方もいるのではないでしょうかさらに10周年記念ページでは「デビルメイクライフ5」いつの秀明ディレクターよりお祝いのコメントもいただきました2022年にはシリーズ20周年を記念して新宿ギャラリーショップにて展示イベントを開催しましたこれまでに発売したスタチューはもちろんメインキャラクターの撮影用衣装やプライムワンのオリジナルアパレルブランドウェアエバーウィズとのコラボアイテムも公開そして大人気のキューティーワンシリーズフィギュアやこのイベントを記念したグッズを販売し多くのデビルメイクライファンの方にご来場いただくことができました今回は最新のデビルメイクライフ5カラーバリエーションアイテムを詳しくご紹介しますプライムワンスタジオが誇る技術で立体化した最強のデビルハンターたちの造形美を見ていきましょうそれではまずこちらの映像をご覧くださいなグラフィックによってさらなる進化を遂げた「デビルメイクライ5」プライムワンスタジオはその美麗な造形を保ちつつゲーム本編で登場する一味違ったカラーリングのキャラクターたちを立体化しました以前にリリースしたオリジナルカラーモデルと同様4分の1スケールアルティメットプレミアムマスターラインでの登場ですネロダンテバージルはそれぞれゲーム内の EX カラーを再現ネロはデビルメイクライ4フォルトナ騎士団の制服を模した白と金のカラーダンテは DMC デビルメイクライの黒と赤バージルはデビルメイクライ3登場時の鮮やかな青に彩色されていますネロとダンテは DX 版の両腕の差し替えパーツも豊富に付属自由に差し替えてゲーム内でよく使う装備を再現することも可能ですさらに V はデビルトリガー状態をモチーフにしたバリエーションで登場ナイトメアを解き放ったことで全身のタトゥーが消えてダンテたちと同様に美しい銀髪へと変化した状態ですゲームプレイ中はなかなかじっくりと見られないこの姿ぜひコレクションに加えていただきたい一品です予約開始のお知らせはプライムアンスタジオのホームページと SNS で随時配信中これからもデビルメイクライスタチューの最新情報をお届けいたしますのでお見逃しなく But that's not all the Devil May Cry reveals we have for you. That's right! In part three of Next Level Showcase X, you'll be treated to the reveals of those cool Devil May Cry 3 Dante and Virgil statues. So, stay tuned for that. Lastly, 
mobile games have experienced a boom in terms of adoption rate and sophistication. With more and more fans turning to mobile gaming, it was only a matter of time before Prime One Studio catered to this fandom. From fate, grand order, comes this fearsome assassin grand servant.舞台は未来が失われた世界。目的は人類史の守護。聖杯を求め過去を旅するRPGフェイトグランドオーダーより異彩を放つサーバントがコンセプトマスターラインに現れました。ゲーム中通称キングハサンで知られる山の大きなを
Today's 10th anniversary celebration would not be complete without featuring Prime One Studios' most prolific collaborator. A master artist in his own right, Josh Neasy has proved to be an amazing partner and friend of the studio. Now, let's dive into the rich history that Prime One Studio and Josh Neasy have built. Wonder at all the incredible collaborations that have been and marvel at the newest collaboration that will be. On September 17, 1984, a groundbreaking animated series burst forth onto the scene and captured both the minds and hearts of kids around the world. Transformers was born out of the sheer will of its creators, Takara Tomy and Hasbro. From disparate designs, characters, and storylines came a unified blockbuster franchise that continues to delight and inspire audiences to this day. 在过去的十年中 ，Prime One Studio 对变形金刚雕像并不陌生。他们一次又一次地展示了在制作精细复杂雕像方面的专业技术和令人难以置信的真实感。过去的十年不仅是一个学习的过程，也是一个创新的试炼。最近，我们首次尝试动态造型的变形金刚雕像，制作了一个集创造力和娴熟技术于一身的新作。優れたコンセプトデザイナー、そしてプライムワンスタジオと10年来の協力関係にある良き友人、ジョシュミジ。このジェットウィングのスタチューを手掛けたのは彼に他なりません。ジョシュはリベンジ、ダークサイドムーン、最後の騎士王など大ヒットしたトランスフォーマー映画のコンセプトデザインを生み出しています。彼の未来的で複雑なディティールを持つメカや。ロボットのデザインを見ればわかる通り、女子は卓越した造形センスの持ち主です。パーツ一つ一つの意味や関係性を深く理解し、繊細かつ大胆な手法でそれらを表現。説得力あふれる姿を私たちに届けてくれます。Hi, my name is Josh Nizzi. I'm a concept designer for film and video games. I've worked on a number of the Transformers movies and a ton of Marvel movies. I've also had the pleasure of working with Prime One over the years, doing a bunch of figures, and I've always been so impressed with their artists and the extra detail and ideas that they bring to figures that they do things I didn't think could be done. So along those lines, I'm really happy to reveal Power Master Prime. So with this design. Uh, it's an Optimus Prime design that you know, Optimus Prime has been done a number of times. So I thought, how could this be different? What can we do above and beyond? And they told me to go all out just this once.、And、so I did, and they knocked it out of the park. It's amazing. So I hope you love it as much as I do.
，语言根本不足以表达这座雕像在各个方面所展现的令人惊叹之处，以及设计师 Josh 本人对复杂设计的诠释能力。这个能量战士擎天柱以拥有最多的部件而闻名，甚至超越了以前的冠军——非翼擎天柱。Over the next decade, with each and every Transformer statue that Prime One Studio developed and manufactured, the studio's prototyping and production sophistication grew and grew, until finally they had amassed enough to attempt the most technologically complex Transformer statue they have ever created. Power Master Optimus Prime is the culmination of ten years of Prime One Studio research, experience, and hard work. 能量战士的概念。来源于变形金刚玩具系列，一个独立的机器人转变为擎天柱的头部，提供了一种新型的变形模式。Prime One Studio 史上最も重要なスタジオの一つと言っても過言ではないでしょう。This overwhelming statue will feature not one but two different modes: Striker Mode and Jet Wing Mode. In Striker Mode, Power Master Optimus Prime packs twin shoulder-mounted double-barreled blaster cannons. Forearm-mounted guns or double swords, a back-mounted plasma cannon, and thigh-mounted missile arrays. In Jetwing mode, Power Master Optimus Prime comes with everything mentioned before, but with additional fin-funnel wing arrays on either arm to increase his firepower and enable him to fly. Idea の本質を捉え、膨大な知識量と蓄積された経験のすべてを駆使してデザインに落とし込む。設立より変わらないプライムワンスタジオのスタイルです。Prime One Studio 今年将庆祝其十周年里程碑纪念日，因此我们希望为热爱着变形金刚的粉丝们呈现最好的作品。But that's not all Prime One Studio and Josh Nizik have to show during this anniversary celebration. In part two of Next Level Showcase X. Josh and the studio will bring you a legendary figure who could be a god or a demon. That was an amazing statue. Did you see how cool that was? Most definitely. But you'd think there's all from Josh, but you'd be mistaken.、Ooh. Don't forget to tune in to part two of Next Level Showcase X to see more of his amazing work. <laughs>